Here's a quick preview of Activity 2. We're going to work on our workspace setup. The goal is to learn to set up the AutoCAD workspace so that it looks like the demos. As you proceed through our program, you'll find that there are uh, many tools that you want to have available to you, and you'll you'll make your own workspace setup depending on what you're doing. But this is a good start to show you how those things get done. Um, you can watch the workspace setup video that you see on activity 2.1. And that's the demo, the step-by-step -step on what to do. And I'm going to ask you to choose a colored background for your AutoCAD demo so that I know that you didn't just take a snip of somebody else's. So pick a cool, funky, weird color and make your colored background only for this particular one. Okay, and then in activity 2.2, you're going to take some snips of your work as you go. There will be a video right over here about that. It'll probably be sitting right here. Um, and you'll want to use those snips somewhere in your executive summary to show that you were working. So your executive summary is just a visual that should, demonstrates that you did the work that was required. It's not copies of the files. It's not, it's not really fancy. It's just a quick executive summary. So you can just take some snips and there's a video for you how to do it and you'll notice that I do all of my demonstrations on VMware um, because that's the the default that you can all get to you can if you want to contact me ask about how to get AutoCAD on your computer it is free from Autodesk if you're on a Mac it's not so great um, that's why we have the VMware it's it's our license from the college, it's set up like we'll be using it mostly, and it's available to you for free in a web browser. That's what VMware does. And so you'll need a place to store your work when you're working on VMware, and this thing called the U Drive is where you'll do it, and I show you a video of it. And then once you've got done and you've got all your, all your files saved, um, um, you'll want to make sure, go back and double check that you've got everything saved before you log out of VMware um, because VMware erases everything from your session except the U drive. Everything gets erased except for the U drive when you log out. Now, sometimes there'll be a, a short stop in communication. The internet will bug out or something like that. It won't erase it then. You can log back in and get right back to your work. So, um, uh, and and that's a function of how strong the internet is. I've got a, I've got an extremely powerful good connection where I'm working from. Um, but I I do know that if you're on a on a hot spot or if you're on a system that can brown out or get a little buggy. Uh, I understand it's very frustrating to have that happen, and there's not much we can do about that until we get back in person. Uh, we do have, in the fall, an in-person class coming back on. So there you go. That's your Activity 2 kind of overview. And uh, look for the uh, little thing about how to do snips in just a moment following.